In this video, let's take a brief look at those few items not covered in either Red Hat's RH-133 or RH-253 courses. These items fall into three basic categories. Logical volume management is the first category. What happens during and after installation? During the installation and configuration portion of your exam, chances are good you'll be asked to configure a directory on a logical volume, and that's most easily done from the GUI-based installation. While we don't redo the entire installation process, we do look at those installation screens available only during the GUI-based installation which support customization of logical volumes. And after installation, during the troubleshooting and system maintenance portion of your exam, you may be asked to add, remove, and or resize logical volumes. And that involves a detailed understanding of the concepts associated with physical volumes, volume groups, and logical volumes. Next, we'll also look at Kickstart, which can automate installations to desired configurations. We'll examine some Kickstart configuration files, as well as the tool used to manage such files. It's also important to understand the boot process. A knowledge of the Grand Unified Bootloader, known affectionately as GRUB, can be especially useful during the exam and, more importantly, in your career as a system administrator. Whenever you have a boot problem, if you know GRUB, you can get around a lot of problems. In this course, we'll fill in a few more gaps, such as the configuration of a network time protocol server.